Our next question comes from Paul. Paul asks, theoretically, how could an open decentralized blockchain be used to verify votes in an election? At the DEFCON convention, they have an election machine hacking village where they have proven time and time again how insecure the electronic voting machines are and how nobody seems to be doing anything about it. I hear vague ideas floating around about using an open decentralized blockchain such as Bitcoin or Ethereum to verify votes in an election, but I'm having a hard time understanding how exactly that would work. If we had the power to improve how voting can be more secure, or at least give voters the ability to verify if their vote counted, theoretically, how could that work? You know, this topic comes up again and again, uh, and I'm glad Paul asked it in a more nuanced way, because this is an interesting set of different problems. The first thing to do when discussing voting, I think, is identify what is the primary problem we are solving. And um, what the primary problem we are solving depends very much on your political leanings and affiliation. Uh, for example, in some circles, the big problem is voter registration registration fraud or voting fraud, which um, according to most statistics is vanishingly rare. Uh, so the idea that dead people are voting or dead people um, are being registered or that um, more people are voting than should be voting isn't really a problem in most countries. But again, that depends on the country you're looking at. Um, while there may be voter registration fraud, that's not the same as voting fraud. Just because someone managed to register themselves as Donald Duck doesn't mean they can go uh, to the polling place and actually uh, vote as Donald Duck and then have their vote counted. Um, the other aspect of this problem is voter apathy, which is a very big problem. Most developed uh, democracies have very, very low percentages of voter participation, either through artificial barriers to voting, um, you know, various uh, barriers placed there to diminish the power of the vote, uh, closed polling stations, long lines, no holiday on election day, etc., etc or uh, because of apathy, because voters see that the result doesn't really matter, um, because of gerrymandering, um, non-representational voting systems, or the fact that both parties uh, in an electoral system that is binary in its choice uh, really represent the same basic pro-war corporate interests, and there is very little variation between them, or what I like to call the choice between blue Goldman Sachs and red Goldman Sachs. Um, the bottom line is that actual hacking of uh, of voting machines is a problem, and it's happening more and more because we're relying on unreliable technology, as shown by DEF CON, instead of reliable and traditional technology. And most often, this is because of a rush to achieve convenience and speed in counting, as if speed in counting is more important than accuracy in counting. Uh, it turns out the most reliable technology you can use for voting that has been shown again and again and again to have high degrees of reliability is pencil and paper ballots, um, physical marks on physical uh, paper ballots. Uh, most of the election voting machines suffer from a lack of auditability, and you can't really tell if somebody uh, did vote or didn't vote because the just digits. Uh, binary digits in a in a hard drive. So can we fix that with blockchains? Yes, theoretically you could. You could do some kind of proof of existence for every vote cast that is anonymous, but simply records that a vote was cast and which way it was cast in such a way that the audit trail is recorded and cannot be overwritten. Um, I think that the technology isn't anywhere near mature to do that, and there are much easier, much cheaper ways to do that, and no real political will to spend money on doing something like that, when the easier choices, which are to mark paper audit trails uh, on paper tape, for example, um, are just as effective, if not more effective, low-tech, able to be used in a very, very decentralized fashion, offline capable, um, and able to be used in rural areas without 
um, telecommunication capabilities and things like that, so mobile polling stations. Uh, and therefore, why go to such high-tech solutions? I'm a big skeptic about the applicability of blockchains to voting. I don't think the real problems have to do with recording the vote as much as issues of identity uh, and voter apathy. Uh, but certainly there might be some applications in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share. All my work is shared for free. So if you want to support it, join me on Patreon.